Now let's continue with the Torican. Right, one of my esteemed viewers informed me that the Amiga version was in fact the first to be made and the Commodore 64 came out after that, which was appropriately scaled down. Now let's see, where should we go from here? Oh, damn it. Let's try this way. Okay, it doesn't look like there's nothing here. And, uh, wonderful music in, uh, well, at least in the first three installments. I'm not sure about the Super Turricans on the Super Nintendo. Anyway, this wonderful music is courtesy of one. Oh, Chris Hulsbeck. And that was bad. Well, Chris Hulsbeck, who, as I understand, started making music on the uh, Commodore 64 demo scene. And, hmm, nothing here, that's odd. Anyway, later on, he. Well, did a bunch of good stuff for the games on the Commodore and later on on the Amiga. And also did the music for the. Um, Hmm. For the Mega Turrican on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, depending on which part of the world you're in. So, just a little quick point that if you think that only Japanese people did wonderful music on the 8 and 16 bit machines, you are greatly. Uh, ill-informed about the uh, mother and I suspect you look up a few names such as well for this Chris Hulsbeck and I could mention guys like Martin Galway and Ben Daglish anyway look those guys up they've done us great things with very limited sound chips. Now, just run along, exploring this another optional side path, where I promptly get killed once again. Come on. Great, and all those power-up carrying little pods disappeared, which is a shame. Nothing up these holes. Yeah, very easy to get killed in this game, but on the other, as I mentioned before, it also if you explore a bit, you'll find plenty of extra lives. Right now, I could use with one of those hidden blocks. Oh of the level. Come on. Oh. Crap. And new music. Come on. Give me weapon. John Freeman wants weapon. Weapon now. Oh, wait, it was spelled. Uh, let's see. Oh, how did I get damaged there? A couple more of these gems. I'm not really going to bother with all those. Well, laser. That's better than the single shot spread gun. Just hit this way. Oh, please. Hey. Well, that's nice. So, I, what I really want is some power up. Oh. <sighs> 
not go doing too well here. Hmm. Oh. Oh boy. And we have a bunch of anno rather annoying jumps to do here. Well, thankfully my lightning guns still far reaches far enough to take care of those. Ooh. Hmm. Well, let's. Well, that's nice. Topped off by tiny little bricks. Not going to bother trying. Oh yeah. And here we have another boss which honestly isn't much more difficult than the feast. This swoops down instead of smashing down and well, at also rather random intervals. Anyway, we do have something. A fairly good reason to go this way. One up. Oh, one of these blocks. Wonderful. Which did not have. But on the other hand, yay, now we're back in business. Okay, that's a load of. Right, first we'll go right and. Although it looks like there's nothing here, let's make a leap of faith. Yep, I have gems here, and actually, you'll see how these things work if they fall down uh, out of the screen in the point where they are spawned, they will respawn back at the top, which is nice. So, you oh, oh, I could have. Made a shortcut there. I honestly didn't know that. Right, and now we'll go back. See, and now we'll go this way, jumping over descending platforms for a whole of three extra lives. Quite useful. Oh damn, missed it. But not to worry. We can make back here. And we even have a fair amount of time left. Hooray! Whoops! You really don't want to go get all touchy feel with your enemies in this game. There we go. Oh yeah, another last thing. While you're shooting your lightning gun, you are totally immobile to the point of floating in midair should you destroy your foothold. Oh, okay, almost out of time here. Just 
now in the sequels you can jump on those little guys and with really humorous results. Oh, another extra life. This seems like a good spot to be end ending this video. We've regained, well, pretty much all of our power and gained a number of extra lives on top of that. So, this has been Crowley with Let's Play Turrican 1 for the Amiga. I just want to, yay.